pretty exciting. And we're what? Two and a half weeks away from the uh, debut of, uh, I don't know, some new show. Uh, somebody's <laughs> doing, I don't know. What is it called? Stu Does America. Stu Does America. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Featuring mm-hmm. who? I'm not sure who hosts this okay. program. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, a new show starting on The Blaze here in a couple of weeks. I think next week we're going to start with some preview content, and then February 4th, a uh, day after the caucuses. Okay. I'll uh, be there for an election-related uh, show, uh, and it's going to be an hour every night. Um, so please uh, subscribe. If you go to stewdoesamerica.com, you can get all the social things to follow. And, and the good thing about this, and this is happening, I believe, with your show as well, Pat Gray Unleashed, uh, is you're going to be able to get these episodes now not just uh, with your Blaze TV subscription, but also for free on YouTube. Yeah, wherever you get your podcasts. Yeah, we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. gonna be really. It opens uh, the show up to a couple a whole of new great world. things. You know, we got on Sound uh, SoundCloud. Yeah, um, is that the one, or was it? It was. Um, uh, what's the other one? This MySpace, <laughs> a Friendster. It was, was it? MySpace. It was MySpace. Yeah, we finally got on MySpace. Pat's on MySpace now. Which uh, we're really excited about. Yeah. Um, so My understanding is if you put <laughs> Pat and your top eight friends, uh, you're going to win a prize. Yeah. And it's the- illegal to share it. Yeah. But um, <laughs> everybody's doing it anyway, so just go ahead. <laughs> um, it's amazing how those things have changed. I mean, oh, there's a incredible. graph I saw the other day of all the social networks and how they've risen and then, and then fallen. And the MySpace one is just sad. I mean, it peaks, it's destroying all of them and then just goes away within like two or three years. And the only thing mm-hmm. it's around now for is occasional scandals of photos that were posted on MySpace in the past. Like, for example, there was a guy who it was a, a judge mm-hmm. on some tattoo-related rela- reality show. I, don't, yeah. I, mean, I know there's a bunch of those. I don't, I, I don't know which one this was exactly, but he'd been a judge on the show for 13 years. Okay, so he's... Again, it's amazing the television age that we live in and that shows that can be popular enough to be on the air for 13 years we have absolutely no knowledge that they exist. <laughs> but apparently this is a pretty big show. And he... Um, someone digs up his old MySpace page and finds pictures of him in blackface. Big scandal. He he's uh, he has to resign or gets fired. Fascinating though to watch mm. that go down because here is a guy who um, there's no evidence that he was a you know some you know, there wasn't like posts where he was praising Nazi ideology or was like you know, he was at 14 KKK meetings. Yeah, you know, he he has two pictures of himself on Halloween where he's dressed up as an African American person. The same way Joy Behar did the exact same thing, dressed up as a, a mm-hmm. used blackface, mm-hmm. uh, and she's fine and on the view, and there's no problems with it because she's substantially liberal enough. If you're progressive enough, if you like taxes to be high enough, if you want abortion to be easy enough to get, if you want babies to make sure that they don't really have a great chance of survival, that makes it okay to wear blackface. That, yes. That's okay. Yes, it does. So this guy, Pat is dressed up in blackface. Again, not something, uh, just safety tip. Kids at home, not a good idea in basically any circumstance, (laughs) okay? Um, However, he did this, and he was dressed up as uh, uh, someone from the Los Angeles Lakers. Interesting, because it it harkens back to mind, specifically one Jimmy Kimmel, who dressed up as Carl Malone in blackface on national television, Right. And received no repercussions whatsoever and continues to be a uh, a liberal megastar. But he's so he's he's great with babies being killed yeah. in the womb. He's fine he's with fine that. He's fine with that. So that makes the blackface thing like you said, just perfectly fine. He wants perfectly taxes fine. to be sufficiently high enough. Yep. He wants health care <laughs> to be given to you by the government. So therefore yep. blackface A OK. It's amazing. And that is the policy. And it's funny because one of the comments, you know, and it was one of these stories, and this drives me crazy. But it's like Here's here's one the first paragraph are like the very basic details of the story and then it's f- this Twitter user said and then there's just like 25 comments from random people on Twitter that yeah. I guess the person writing the story found interesting <laughs> instead of writing comments <laughs> themselves they're like let's just I don't know copy and paste this on there but the first comment that they thought was so brilliant was well I'm glad this guy's learning the lesson of Justin Trudeau you don't use blackface how what the hell lesson did you- he lo- learn but he's the premier of Canada yeah. 
Uh, it's like he's a prime minister. Yeah, if you use blackface, you can run countries. Is that the lesson he was supposed to learn, or is it that he's Unreal. supposed to, he can learn? You it's can unreal. run states, like in Virginia. Yeah. Which one yeah. is it? What lesson are you supposed to learn? And of course, what is fundamentally built into this, and of Jeez. course, the larger perspective is you should be progressive. You should be liberal because you know what happens when you are. You get excused for all the mistakes you've made in your life. It's a wonderful get out of jail free card. You'll never have to pay a price for the things you shouldn't have done because if you are sufficiently in favor of government health care, we'll exonerate you. And that is an mm. incredible free pass to life if yeah. you happen to be someone on the left. What a wonderful thing. What a great way to live, man. You never have to deal with, with the arguments of the other side. You just dismiss them as racist. And if you screwed up, if you happen to have a little Me Too violation here, or you had a little bit of a blackface incident there, ah, we ah, don't even talk about it. Don't even worry about it. Yeah. So I don't know what this guy's politics are, but he's ejected from society now. And people like Jimmy Kimmel will remain on television. You know, uh, people like uh, Governor Northam, people like Justin, Justin Trudeau, Trudeau, they maintain everything. Perfectly fine. The liberal left wing uh, country of Canada goes and supports this guy and re-elects him after the scandal. Yeah. Do you think Donald Trump yeah. survives a blackface scandal in 2020? Uh, no. I'm going to go with no. No, he I'm does I'm going to go with no. That's for sure. And, you know, you'd think <laughs> in, in today's day and age, because, you know, like, for example, Sarah Silverman, who is pretty left and um, has had minor repercussions from her own blackface scandal, she did blackface huh. on television. Why? To parody and mock and demean racists. That shouldn't hmm. be looked at as the same thing as Justin Trudeau, who just thinks it's A-OK -okay and funny to go out and dress up as someone right. uh, just for the laughs. That's, that, those things should be treated differently. We've just treated them the opposite way. The repercussions have gone to the person who is against racism, and Justin Trudeau skates through OK. <laughs> it doesn't, I mean, the, it's crazy. it is a fascinating world to navigate, Pat, because it, you can't find the end. There's no way to know who gets cleared, who gets prosecuted, who whose life gets ruined, mm -hmm. and whose life, um, you know, gets promoted. And we, a lot of times it's politics, but not always.